plastics. Now the plastic word is very common in our daily life. We know that plastic things are very part of every house. Like. So uh, plastics basically what do we understand by plastic? Like plastic is a polymer which can be made in any shape you want. Right? So plastic can be made in any shape like any size you want. So it depends what you want and where you have to use it. So plastic basically is a polymer. This is a polymer which can be set in any desired shape and size. So it's a polymeric material and can be set in any desired shape and size. Nowadays we talk it's a plastic world. Means what? Like everything generally the things are used or made by man. That is they are made by man. They are not made by nature. So plastic can also be said to be material which is made by man. Okay. So it is a type of synthetic polymer. As it is synthesized in lab and is made by man. So you can call plastic to be a synthetic polymer which can be made into any desired shape and size. Now if we take some example of the objects around us. Have a look what things all are made of plastic. You will find that the switchboards in our house. Don't go on my drawing style. It's okay. Switchboards. You can see the switches. These are all made up of plastic. A type of plastic. You can see the comb. The comb we used for combing our hair that is also made of plastic. You can see the pen which we use. The fountain pen you use. It is also made up of plastic. Right. So there are many things which are made of plastic. Further you can have a look uh, at what things are made of plastic. You can see the poly bags, polythene bags you can see, they are also made of plastics, right? Uh, except more if you want to say you can see the bottles, no, they are also made of plastic, the medicine bottles, the ketchup bottles, no, all things made of plastic. So many, many things are made of plastics. Some examples I have given you, more you can see around you, the table, uh, you can see more, the decorative things are made of plastic, moreover you can see the thermocol items are also made, they are also synthetic material like the glass made, uh, more you can see uh, the objects around us like the remote, or uh, the so these are many plastic items in our life now these plastic you can see the category there are different types some plastic is hard whereas some is not hard it can be easily broken or torn okay so it depends on what you want and what quality you want that type of plastic you get basically you have to say that the plastic materials are now become an important part of our life so these are plastic these are some examples where we use plastics okay, nowadays you know that plastic thing, plastic trays are used plastic glasses are used plastic utensils are used no. Now uh, crockery is also made of plastic, the bowls are made of plastics, so plates are made of plastics. So all the things are made of 
Mostly the things are now being made of plastic. Now why the plastic is used? Generally due to its durability. And it is not affected by microbes. So the reason for using plastic is that um, it does not the reason for using plastic is that it does not react with the food material so it's used for packaging also so it's very less reactivity reactivity is very less okay so there are some properties due to which we use different plastic materials in our house now we can see that plastics have become so important that we are now trying to find such plastic which can be used without causing pollution. So first we will see the plastic properties and then we will deal with what we should do to prevent the pollution caused by them. So the properties we are going to study of plastic. Okay. Now the properties of plastic. Properties of plastic. The properties of plastics uh, are different. There are different chemical and physical properties of different types of plastic. Okay? Different chemical and physical properties. But uh, some, some properties are common to all. Now, what they are, we will see them. The first property is the thermal conductivity. Thermal conductivity of plastics. What do we mean by thermal conductivity? Here thermal conductivity means that the plastic, they are very poor conductor of thermal conductivity. Like they cannot conduct electricity. So they are very poor conductor of heat over here. Of thermal conductivity, we can say they are poor conductor of heat. That is, they do not allow heat to pass through them. Okay, so they are used in places where we require that heat is not to be passed. For example, thermal conductivity is required for use, using vessels, utensils which do not melt when we add and due to this nature of poor conductivity it, they are used as handles of utensils then they are used for making switches okay. more they are used for making um, containers okay. they are also used for making the core of refrigerators that is made of foam so in this way plastic is used for their thermal conductivity importance like their poor conductor of heat and so can be used in various places. They can be used also for making inner wares like winter inner wares. So it's an important property of plastic. Thermal conductivity. The next important property of plastic is the electrical conductivity. The same they are the poor conductor of electricity and so they are used for making wires the coating of the wires is made of plastic due to this property of being unable to carry the electric current so they are poor conductor of electricity and used for coatings of wire so these other two important properties, the next important property is the solubility. Solubility means the ability to dissolve. Now, the plastics, they are insoluble in water. You place a plastic bag in water, take a container filled with water okay, and now place a plastic bag in it. Or any plastic object you can say a ball or a bag what you will see that the bag or the ball it does not mix with it it does not dissolve they keep on floating so it means that plastic things are not soluble in water so 
प्लास्टिक इज इन सोल्यूबल इन एंड ड्यू टू दिस प्रॉपर्टी द बकेट यू सी द ग्लासेस आर मेड ऑफ प्लास्टिक टू कैरी वॉटर केमिकल्स दे आर ऑल्सो स्टोर्ड इन प्लास्टिक कंटेनर ड्यू टू दिस एबिलिटी ऑफ प्लास्टिक टू बी इन सोल्यूबल सो बिकॉज ऑफ दिस प्रॉपर्टी वी कैन से दैट प्लास्टिक इज नॉन रिएक्टिव ऑल्सो नेक्स्ट इंपॉर्टेंट प्रॉपर्टी ऑफ प्लास्टिक इज द रिएक्टिविटी इट इज वेरी लेस रिएक्टिव इट इज वेरी लेस रिएक्टिव इवन इफ यू प्लेस अ प्लास्टिक ऑब्जेक्ट लाइक फॉर एग्जाम्पल अ बैट प्लास्टिक बैट और अ प्लास्टिक पॉलिथिन और अ प्लास्टिक बॉटल or any plastic object even if it is kept kept in sun in a harsh sun or in rain okay then also you will see that it has no effect so you can see that plastic does not react with sorry the uh, you can say that plastic is unreactive it does not react with or has no effect of it has no effect of the sunlight or the rain the weather whatever the weather be or uh, whether it be any season or anything like with any air whether it's hot or cold or humid it has no effect so uh, it is basically very unreactive so you can see that plastic is not reactive at all it is that only at high temperatures it melts it is little reactive to temperature but otherwise mostly it is non reactive and so it is also used for it is also it is not even reactive with how many dangerous chemicals and therefore it is used for keeping the chemicals in plastic container also okay so uh, doesn't it doesn't doesn't react with strong chemicals such as acids bases or dangerous compounds so you see the plastic bottles in them only the acids the bases are stored the liquid detergents you get in market the bleaches you get all of these are stored in plastic bottles packed in plastic bottles so you can see that plastic is very unreactive to these type of things so basically this is also a very important property of plastic that it is very less reactive it's very less very less means it's very unreactive now the next thing is of plastic is the effect of flame what will be the effect of flame that is what will happen when you burn a plastic material now whenever we burn a plastic material what do we see that sometimes it gets burnt and sometimes it doesn't on direct heat most of the plastic they burn so plastics melt on heating or most of the thermoplastic they melt on heating some of them they do not have any effect of the flame those are the two uh, kind that is the thermosetting type plastic that is the melamine type and the bakelite type they do not have effect of flame the rest mostly the thermoplastics they are generally melt on heating okay so the effect of flame now we plastic melts on heating so you can say that plastics are highly inflammable they do not burn but they melt on heating the next important property is that they are very light in weight you see the weight of the plastic it's very they are very light so they are light in weight strong that even when if it is some plastic they are thrown from a great height they don't break strong and durable and you can get any desired shape and size so these are the important properties of plastic which is common to 
on. These are the important types of properties which are common to all plastics. Now we will deal with the types of plastic. Broadly plastics are divided into two categories, two major categories that is the thermosetting plastics and the thermoplastic. So types, basically types are of two types that is the thermosetting plastic and thermoplastic. Now the thermoplastic they can be melted and set into any desired shape or size they want after being set once. Like they can be reshaped and remelted. It means the process is reversible. Over here the process is reversible. Thermoplastics when once set into any shape and size can be again reshaped and remelted and resized also. So, but for thermosetting plastics, it cannot be reshaped or remelted once given any shape. Um, they do not withstand high temperatures. Thermoplastic do not withstand high temperatures means they melt easily. Whereas thermosetting plastic, they do not melt and withstand high temperatures so they go they go a reversible here the thermoplastics they go a reversible change whereas for thermosetting plastic the change is permanent and is on reversible change once it is heated it can be melted again cooled and brought into any desired shape or the same shape we require the change is reversible whereas in this case when you melt then you will get a mass but which cannot be reshaped again or this is the basic difference between the thermoplastic and thermo setting plastics now we will also see some examples like for examples of thermoplastics is polythene PVC that is polyvinyl chloride PVC then you can see polystyrene polypropylene polypropylene then more example you can take PET some examples of thermosetting plastics are bakelite melamine 